how to set up and manage inventory across Valor. Once the merchant has been deployed, head to the Settings module, select Settings, then choose the Menu and Inventory tab from the dropdown. When a merchant is active, you'll be able to select them from the dropdown. If they already have inventory built, it'll appear automatically. There are a few ways to add inventory. You can import up to 18,000 items at once, with a total cap of 20,000 items. If the merchant has synced their My Profile to QuickBooks, they can do so from the Settings tab by selecting QuickBooks, then clicking Authenticate. Once that's done, they can sync inventory items directly from QuickBooks. You can also add an item manually. Just enter the name, SKU, category, unit cost, description, set whether or not it pulls from quantity, assign a status, link it to a specific order, add modifier groups, mark if it's taxable, and then select create. Once created, the item will appear as a card. Modifiers follow the same logic. Select modifier, choose the merchant, and then you can either add items manually or use bulk import. Syncing is not available for modifiers. Let's take a look at the merchant's view. When logged into a merchant profile, go to the settings module and select product. From here, merchants can sync their items from QuickBooks once integration is complete. Bulk import is available in the action dropdown. Sample files are provided to show the correct headers and character counts needed in the Excel file. You can also add items manually, and you'll have options to edit or delete existing products or modifiers. Next, we'll look at how this works in the virtual terminal. Scroll to line items, click into the item name, and select the product or service. If modifiers are active, you'll be able to add them to the transaction, all the way through to checkout. Now let's take a look at the device level. On the physical device, tap the shopping cart. Items added to the merchant's product list will display on screen. Since the device is cloud-based, there's no need to download anything. Products are updated automatically and removed if deleted from the portal. Finally, head over to the reporting module and scroll to the inventory reporting section. Here you'll find units sold by category, profitability, intake, forecasting, inventory threshold, and top products sold. The sales report includes product names, SKUs, categories, units sold, cost, and total sold, based on specific or custom date ranges. You can print or export these reports as needed.